Most of this information comes from the Tax Guide for Small Business for Individuals Who Use Schedule C, Publication 334, Tax Year 2022. You can find it on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Income tax formula focused on line one, that being income. Remember, in the first half of the income tax formula, is in essence an income statement, although just a framework, just a scaffolding, other forms feeding into these line items. For example, the Schedule C, our major focus here being another income statement, income minus expenses, those expenses being business deductions, the net income flowing into line one of our income tax formula. This is page one of the form 1040, the Schedule C income would flow through to the schedule one then ultimately to page one of the form 1040 this is a schedule c profit or loss from business which is in essence in essence an income statement income minus expenses now we're going to dive into employment taxes but before we do we want to make a distinction between employment taxes and self-employment tax we talked about in a prior presentation they are similar but different when we're talking about self-employment tax, we're thinking about taxes we might have to pay on self-employment income, such as the bottom line net income of the Schedule C for our small business. When we're talking about employment taxes, we're thinking about taxes we might have to pay and we might have to withhold on the income of our employees, the money going out. It's actually an expense to us that we might have to be paying taxes on for our payroll taxes in essence so you can see the difference here when we're talking about self-employment tax the net income of the schedule c is being treated in a similar way as if we were an employee of our own business in a similar way as if we were the employee of another corporation right we're going to be paying both the employee and employer portion of our payroll taxes social security and medicare in the form of self-employment taxes when we're talking about employment taxes now we are the employer and we have uh, employees and that structure is basically the same no matter what type of entity we have if we're a sole proprietorship a partnership an llc uh, a c corporation we're going to set up our employment situation in a similar way we're going to have to issue the w-2s we're going to have to have the withholdings we're going to have to pay our portion of the payroll taxes but notice when we pay our portion of the payroll taxes it's kind of interesting because we're actually paying taxes on an expense to us we're paying we're paying taxes on not our income it's not an income tax it's income to the employee and we're having to pay social security and medicare on the expense that we basically pay to the employee as opposed to social to the self-employment tax when we're we're paying basically self-employment tax on our income the self-employment income treating ourselves as the employee and employer okay so we're on employment taxes if you have employees you will need to file forms to report employment taxes employment taxes include the following note that when we talk about employment uh, employees you will not be an employee of yourself generally when you have a schedule c if you had another type of entity such as an s corporation or a normal corporation then you might have to actually issue yourself a a w-2 because the corporation is like a separate legal entity so that means that when you have employees for a sole proprietorship then you will be issuing w-2s for the employees you have deducting you know the expenses of having employees the net income then is going to be tr is going to be taxed in the format of self-employment tax with regards to like the payroll taxes okay so we got social security medicare taxes the federal income tax withholdings so when we have employees we're going to have to then deal with the our portion and their portion of social security and medicare the payroll taxes we're going to have to deal with the federal income tax don't get that confused with our federal income tax that we're going to be reporting on the form 1040 the bottom line this is their federal income tax that we are withholding from them so we're paying them they're going to have to pay federal income tax we're withholding you know their federal income tax yeah and maybe i'll file a federal income tax return 